Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke, and today we are discussing the eccentric pull-up. So how can I lengthen the lowering phase of my pull-up to ensure that I'm, I'm um, using those muscles correctly? So why would I, why would I use, why would I lengthen this lengthening phase of the muscle contraction? Why wouldn't I just do normal pull-ups? Well, if you're not strong enough to do normal pull-ups, the eccentric variation is fantastic for it. Um, it's we're, we are stronger. We can produce more force as we lower ourselves, right? I don't have to overcome the weight of gravity. So just the lowering phase of the exercise is easier, right? As my body comes down, my muscles get longer. Uh, it's also a nice way to kind of accentuate the mobility of this. If you're finding that you're not really getting yourself all the way down there and actually getting a muscle stretch, it's really nice to force you to do that. It gives you more time to think through stuff. Um, it lets you just sit there and actually feel the muscle stretching. And some of that uh, mind muscle connection is, I think, really important for people learning how to actually control their bodies rather than just flopping around and doing whatever. Um, on that note, if I'm lengthening this, then it gives me more time to fix something that might be wrong. So if I'm doing something wrong during my, my chin up and I can't quite just cue it right out of there, then maybe I can length that I can move slower even on the way up, but we're talking about the way down today. I can move slower on the way down and try to find that right position. Generally, uh, this is most applicable when you're doing your pull-ups, but you're letting your back arch a whole lot. Um, you'll see this nice steep curve in your low back. I'm going to do it for you. Um, people will look, oh my God. They'll look like that. And what I want you to look like is like this, with your legs kind of pointed forward. When we do the pull-up, if you if you just pulled vertically straight up, you'd hit your head on the bar, right? So we have to lean back a little bit. So your legs need to follow you. They need to come forward as well. And I need ab tone, uh, core security, if I'm gonna hold a good position there. So the eccentric pull-up is a nice way to really focus on finding what that feels like and getting it in the right spot, okay? Nice skinny abdominal region with the feet slightly forward. Um, lastly, there are three phases of a muscle contraction. There's this lowering, there's a short hold phase, and then there's a shortening phase on the way back up. Uh, sometimes I can train those phases specifically. So I might take a program and work just this lowering phase, work some eccentric pull-ups in, some long lowering phase pull-ups in, and use that to build extra strength in that particular part of the rep. Then it, maybe I dedicate the next program to isometric strength. Maybe I hold for 20, 30, 40 seconds and try to increase the amount of weight that I can stabilize in a holding position, in a static position. Um, and then I start to do normal reps again. Maybe I'm, I'm working on pulling myself up faster so that that concentric phase, that shortening phase of this exercise is then more beneficial for me. And, and you'll notice that even just training one phase, like the eccentric only, will help your normal reps as well. And I listed that as you could do program to program to program, but you could do day to day to day uh, throughout the week as well. So that is the lovely eccentric pull-up. Definitely give those a shot and let me know how sore you get.